Wearable biosensors for HIV detection. This patch looks simple, but it can help detect HIV, called a wearable biosensor, and it's changing how people find out it might be infected. For years, HIV testing meant going to a clinic, getting your blood drawn, waiting for results. Sometimes people never show up, or they don't come back to get their results. Many just avoid testing. They're scared. They don't want to be seen, or they live too far from a clinic. That delay makes things worse. When people don't know they have HIV, they can pass it on without realizing. By the time symptoms show up, the virus has already done damage. Wearable biosensors offer another option. They're small devices. Some look like patches, others like wristbands. They sit on your skin and monitor your body. Instead of taking blood, they read things like sweat or fluid under the skin. They can pick up changes in your body that may be linked to HIV infection. They don't give a full diagnosis, but they can warn you that something might be wrong. You get an alert on your phone, go get checked. That early warning can make a big difference. In remote places where clinics are far away, this is huge. A biosensor means someone can know something's wrong without travel for hours. In some programs, doctors are giving these sensors to people at high risk. They can wear them day and night. The sensor checks for changes in temperature, heart rate, immune responses, or signs of viral activity. It's not magic. It's just a smart sensor designed by engineers and scientists. Inside, it has tools that scan your body in real time. The data goes to your phone or a secure cloud. Sometimes AI helps detect patterns that match early signs of HIV. If something matches, the system sends you a message. It tells you to go in for testing. That means you might catch the virus days or even weeks earlier than usual. And early treatment works better. This tech still has limits. It's not always accurate. Sometimes it gives false warnings. Sometimes it misses things. It's expensive. Most people can't buy one right now. But the idea is clear. Make testing easier. Make it private. Make it fast. Instead of waiting until you feel sick, you get a warning early. And if the warning's real, you get treated. Others. That's how outbreaks slow down. These sensors aren't me meant to replace lab tests, but they help people know when to act. If more people had access, more people could find out early. That means fewer new cases. That means more lives saved. This isn't a cure, but it's a step in the right direction, and that matters.